Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a pregnancy related issue that I've been having during this pregnancy. This is my second pregnancy with baby girl number two and I have been experiencing excruciating pain in my pelvic bone. Um, <clears throat> I went to the doctor at um, my third trimester, so right, about, right around 27 to 28 weeks, um, complaining about really severe pelvic pain that I had been dealing with for um, my entire second trimester. And what they came up with is that I had what's called SPD. Um, SPD stands for symphysis pubis dysfunction, um. also known as pelvic girdle pain. Um, this occurs in the pubic arch of your pelvic bone. The bone becomes very flexible during pregnancy and that is because of the relaxin, the hormone that is released into your body once you become pregnant. Um, the relaxin helps loosen all of your joints so that childbirth is possible. The thing is, when you get SPD, um, that hormone is released too early and there's too much of it that's being released and so your joints become too flexible and the pelvic bone, um, the pelvic arch actually, will widen too much causing it to become unaligned and that unalignment is um, what causes the pain in your pelvic area. When it becomes misaligned like that, um, it tends to cause inflama inflammation and so that also leads to um, what, what all of that pain is. So SPD affects one in every 300 pregnancies. Um, I didn't realize it at the time, but I did have some form of pelvic girdle pain with cadence. Um, that was my last pregnancy, but it wasn't until the very end of my pregnancy. So I was already on leave um, and I was able to rest anytime that it, it started to become overwhelming. Once you have SPD once, every pregnancy after that, um, you will most likely get it and you will get it sooner um, in your pregnancy than you did the previous. So for instance, with Cadence, I didn't start feeling it until maybe like 34 weeks pregnant. Um, with this baby number two, I started feeling it right right in the beginning of my second trimester and what spd feels like the pain is like excruciating so it literally feels like you your body is being torn in half um, right at your pelvic bone so some of the main symptoms that are associated with spd or pelvic girdle pain are um, extreme pain when you're walking um, excruciating pain when you're climbing stairs when you are getting in and out of the car, um, when you're rolling over in bed, um, anytime you put any kind of like pressure or weight on one leg, um, for instance, putting on your pants, um, all of that stuff when you have to like shift your weight causes your achiness mm -hmm. and sharp pain in your pelvic area. Um, so with this pregnancy, I was experiencing all of that and what sucks about it is when you're walking um, You have that pain. I didn't know I didn't know that I had SPD at first And so when I was working out entering my second trimester, I was still doing like the Stairmaster um, Which is a big no-no and which is a big trigger and it really um, Doing like any kind of like stair movements or anything where you have to split you split your legs apart or shift your weight from one leg to another um, that causes excruciating pain and it was just like really irritating like the next day I would feel so sore um, walking would really hurt and so I had to kind of like modify the way that I walked but when you modify the way that you walk it starts to hurt your lower back and so I was just like trying to make modifications in order for my pelvic area not to hurt but then it would end up hurting like other areas and so it was just kind of like a chain reaction. One of the major symptoms that I had was rolling over in bed um, every time even still now every time that I roll over it wakes me up because the pain is it's just so painful. 
Um, and so there's like a modified way that I've learned how to roll over in bed, but even that it still hurts. And when I do roll, I hear, um, I hear like clicking. It's like my pelvic bone because it's misaligned. It's almost like my pelvic bone is grinding against itself. Anytime that I have to um, turn or like split my legs, um, you can also hear like a clicking noise um, in your bones. I know that sounds gross, but it's true and it, and it hurts. Those are like some of the main complaints that women have with the um, SPD. And those are some of the main like symptoms um, that are reported when going to your doctor and letting them know that you do have that kind of pain. Like that's how you know that it's different from just um, a mild form of pelvic girdle pain and it's actually something more serious. For some women, the pain gets so bad that they have to be put in a wheelchair or they have to be um, given crutches because they can't even walk. Um, for me, walking did hurt, but also staying in one position for too long hurts as well. So um, if I like sit too long and then I try to get up and walk, that really hurts. I start, to, I get like really achy um, and sore in my pelvic area. But again, if I walk for too long, that also starts to hurt. When you have SPD, you really shouldn't be lifting anything over like 15 pounds um, repeatedly. Any kind of like repeated motion that is affecting your um, pelvic area tends to cause inflammation. And so picking up my toddler, running after my toddler, um, that really has an effect on me too. Sometimes I just need to pick up my daughter and it's just so painful and um, it's frustrating and it's it becomes emotional because you feel so useless or you feel so helpless um, and you're just in pain and you don't know what to do. Like I take Tylenol for the pain when it gets too bad. It's just really frustrating and so it's not only like a physical a physical thing that is happening to you but it's also emotional because again you can't do everything that you used to do and it's just it's very frustrating it's a very frustrating feeling there are a few things that you can do as far as treatment goes for SPD um, but it never fully goes away until either you have your baby or when you're done breastfeeding so basically as long as the hormone relaxin is being produced in your body if you have SPD um, you're going to continue to have it throughout your pregnancy or um, your breastfeeding journey um, even. When I had cadence, the pain went away. And so I'm hoping that for this pregnancy, um, I hope that as soon as I have the baby, the pain will go away and I will be able to get back to my normal life, my normal activities. But again, some of the things that you can do to help the pain is um, one wearing a pregnancy um a pregnancy belt and so i'm here to show you this one and what it does you have the two sides that hook down around your belly and then you have these two flaps that come in on both sides to secure it and to hold basically your um hips together. So let me show you what it looks like. So you have your belt. The last two things that you can do to help alleviate some of the pain that you're experiencing when you do have SPD is you can actually ice the area. You don't want to heat it because that will relax the joints and your joints are already relaxed too much. So um, the ice will actually help to reduce the inflammation um, and it alleviates the pain. In my experience, it's alleviated the pain maybe for 15 minutes. And then once you start walking around, getting up and stuff like that, the pain comes back again. But um, when you've had like a rough day or when the pain is like really acting up, I do recommend too that you ice and it. The last thing that I was recommended to do is just rest. 
your body needs to rest. At 34 weeks, they ended up putting me off of work because it was just too painful um, to be able to go into work every single day. Um, again, I have my toddler, so I'm also having to pick her up, taking care of her, and um, it was just becoming too much on my body. And so my doctor signed me off at 34 weeks, um, and I do notice that when I am able to get extra rest and just take it easy on myself, the next day I'm not as in I'm not in as much pain, um, but again, the pain is constantly there. Like it never fully goes away. So um, rest is a big thing. Make sure you're getting a lot of rest. Don't overdo your body. Listen to your body. Um, if you start to hurt, take a step back. Do some of your exercises. Um, put your belly, your belly band on, um, your maternity belt. Make sure you're keeping your legs together as much as you can so that you're not irritating the um, pelvic joint. Um, but rest. Rest is huge. So don't overdo it, ladies. I know we tend to do that as moms, but you have to stop. I hope this video helped any of you guys who do have SPD or think you have SPD. Um, some of the treatments... Hopefully you can find helpful if you are suffering from any kind of pelvic girdle pain, even if it's slightly mild. These are just some of the tips and tricks that I've learned and some of the information that I've gathered from my doctor, from doing research on my own, and from seeing the physical therapist. So um, hopefully you guys can take away some kind of knowledge and get the help that you need in order to deal with SPD. And just remember, once you have your baby, this pain should go away. If not, once you're done breastfeeding, this pain will go away. Just always remember um, that it's only temporary and it will go away. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.